right. Set to go, they'll head into turn number four. Looking to go green, it's up, we are racing. Nice little battle up front early on. Devin McLeod trying to get something going to the outside. They'll work their way into turn number four. McLeod about a half a car advantage off of turn four. He'll take the top spot away. Devin liking the outside. So Devin McLeod gonna make the early pass as he'll work down the back stretch. Steven Nassi now, he's gonna go side by side with another modified driver in the late model tonight. That is LJ Gremmen to 33. Again, Steven Nassi, good short track racer. He'll clear the 33 of LJ, moves up to third as they'll work their way around. Anthony Sergi in there, he's battling with your overall quick time racer. That's Nick Neary, mid-pack. Sergi on the inside, Nick Neary. Nick gonna have to use a little patience here tonight as he works his way up to the outside in turn number one. Nick right now gonna move into this sixth spot and Sergi may have something to say about that in turn number three. Sergi on the low side, Neary up high as they'll work down the front stretch. Good little battle there in that sixth position. So Nancy getting loose, coming off of turn number two, gonna cost him several spots. So Nick will drop back at least three spots. Patrick Starpoli in that 64, gonna cash in. He'll move up ahead of the 20 of Sergi, and that'll put him in the top five for Starpoli. So Patrick off to a good start. Now you got a couple former go-kart racers going at it. Nick Neary in the 17, and Steven Nancy on the outside. Nassi working in turn number four. He's got Neri on the inside. He's gonna have to deal with Jesse Dutilly because Jesse Dutilly's got that open lane in turn number one. Dutilly gonna battle with the 51 and Nassi. In the meantime, up front, things are tightening up for the lead. As Devin McLeod, your leader in turn number one, he's got a whole bumper full of the 54 of Cody Stickler. And Stickler started on the pole. McLeod started outside of row number one as he'll work down the front stretch. Good little battle up front. Another key there, you don't want to use up them tires. Boy, Nassi still battle now. He's going to battle with the local driver, Mike Bresnan in the seven. And Jesse Dutelli all over the back end and Nick Neary. So they're going to do battle. That'll be for that seventh position. Now Sergi going to work to the inside of Starpoli. Here comes Nick Neary going to bring Dutelli with him. Starpoli, looks like that car may have a problem as traffic is coming by Starpoli. So a tough break for Patrick. He'll take it in behind the wall for the 64 of Patrick Starpoli. So far, so good, no cautions. Traffic starting to stretch out, field working around. Oh, now we're gonna see it. So Patrick Starpoli, issue there, John, is something had shut down as they started to come by. Point. So 12 laps complete, we're back underway. Again, your pole sitter, again, Cody Stickler in the 54, gonna battle the outside. Gets a good run in turn number four. He's gonna clear Devin McLeod. So up for the second time, your new leader is the 54 machine of Cody Stickler. Here comes Anthony Sergi charging to the high side. He'll move up side by side in row number two. Devin on the low side, as he'll work in turn number one. Boy, Cody Stickler flexing a little muscle here tonight. Here comes Jesse Dutilly. He's gonna work on the outside of LJ Grimm as they work into turn number four. Again, Jesse Dutilly. Boy, did Jesse just work around the 33 of Grimm and he's gonna work around Devin McLeod for third. So Jesse Dutilly out of the Bradenton, Florida area now moves to third as he'll head down the front stretch. Good run going, Jesse Dutilly. So Jesse Dutilly again, he set and he started in the seventh position and he'll go to work on Anthony Sergi in that 20 machine. Up front it is Cody Stickler, Anthony Sergi running second, Dutilly running third. Follow by McLeod and you got Nick Neary working into the fifth spot. So again, Nick Neary patiently working his way up to the front. Again, earlier on today, Nick picked up fast time. A car inversion dropped into the eighth position. 
And so patiently he's picked up three spots. Nick Neary in the top five. Nassie gonna work on LJ right now. Steven Nassie running in the seventh spot. He's in behind the 33 of LJ Graham. Again, Keith Rogan, a little battle there. He's in here with the 77. Now trouble off a of turn number two. Caution number two. Boy, that is tough. Cody qualified in the eighth spot in the eight car inversion. Put him on the pole position, and he's in the pits with overheating issues. So row number one, Anthony Sergi. In the inside, Dutilli to the outside. McLeod, along with Neri in row number two. We're back racing 19 laps in the books. So again, Nick Neri up to the outside. Look at this drag race down the back stretch. Again, Anthony Sergi on the low side. Dutilli with a slight advantage off of turn number four. Dutilli trying to clear him in turn number one. Boy, Anthony Sergi putting up a fight. He'll watch Dutilli come by. So Jesse Dutilli could be trouble for the field as Dutilli jumps up front, and he is hard to bring in. A lot of rubbing going on in the back of the field as they're battling out. Nick Neary now, he's got a little door-to-door -door battle, battling for third, he's got McLeod on the inside. Nick Neary, your pole sitter, outside of row number three. They're still door-to-door -door here at Citrus County Speedway, that outside lane, you can get some bite out there. And here comes Nassie, he's gonna crisscross right in front of LJ Graham as they come off of turn four. So Steven Nassie now fights himself in the top five right now for Nassie. Wayne Anderson, he's chucking up toward the front now. Wayne in behind the 33 of LJ Graham, making his way up toward the front. In behind him, you got Michael Atwell. Michael right now running in the eighth spot. Anderson running seventh, LJ running sixth. Nassie running fifth. You got Neri running fourth. In front of him, you got McLeod third. Sergi running second. Dutilli, your leader now in the turn number four. So Jesse Dutilli showing the way right now. Black flag on the 78. That car's sparking. Sandel trying to get the 78 off the track. See that car kicking up some sparks coming up through the turn number four. That'll be Kuhn, Robert Kuhn Jr. So Robert will take the 78 in behind the wall and he'll retire that car. So Dutilli showing the way here as we're closing in at the quarter of the race. Dutilli, your leader, Sergi running second, McLeod running third. Running fourth will be the 17 machine of Nick Neri. Nassie running in the top five. Again, couple drivers working their way up there. You got Anderson in the 84, the 51, uh, Michael Atwell. How about the 94? That'll be Keith Rogan. So Keith staying in the top 10. Uh, 30. 30 laps complete as they'll come across the line. They have seen a couple different leaders early on. It was Devin McLeod, and then it was a 20 of Sergi. And on the restart, took about a lap or so for Dutilli to jump up to the top spot. So 31 laps in this time by. But again, traffic starting to stretch out. Keep an eye, Steven Nassi, as he's working in the top five right now as he goes to work on the 17 and Nick Neri. Again, Neri picking up the pole position with fast qualifier. And Neri right now sits in the fourth spot. Fifth, it'll be Steven Nassi. Then behind him is LJ Graham in the Webster car. And you got Wayne Anderson and Michael Atwell. Boy, talk about a longtime veteran racer of a Wayne Anderson, then you got Michael Atwell, one of the up and coming short track racers, Atwell in the 51. In behind Atwell, you got Keith Rogan, Keith in the number 94. So traffic continue to stretch out, been a good run so far for Dutilli. And Jesse Dutilli again started in the seventh spot, and Jesse qualified in the second position behind Nick Neri. And right now, Jesse Dutilli's in a pretty good groove. Sitting at about a 1.2 second advantage over Anthony Sergi. So lap number 36 coming by. Dutilli, your third different leader. So traffic moving along. Here comes Kuhn in the 78. He'll return in the 78. So Kuhn, a little bit of work on that car. So Kuhn back out in the 78. 
So Jesse Nutilli right now going to start to look ahead out that windshield. He's going to pick up some lap traffic now as he works in turn number one. So Nutilli off of turn number two, not going to be concerned with what's going on behind him. He's got a whole windshield full now of lap traffic off of turn four. Again, Kuhn into 78, being told that car is five laps down. He gets in front of your leader off of turn number two. So again, looks like Kuhn will get that black flag. We'll get the 78 off. That car is off five, down five laps for the 78. Oh, Chris Fontaine going to retire the 47. So problem with Chris Fontaine as he heads into the pits. So Chris Fontaine again got in by the Conci, won the Conci race, but again, not a good night for Chris Fontaine in the 47. Now Dutilly starting to pick off lap traffic. So he'll come down the front stretch and he'll go after the 47X of Keith Zavarell. Right ahead of Keith Zavarell, that'll be Jet, Jet Nolan in the 50. Right now, Jet running on the tail end of the field with Zavarell behind him. You see Keith Zavarell now waving his arm out the window, letting Dutilly get some real estate. As Dutilly works his way into turn number four. Nice piece of driving there. Keith Zavarell gives Dutilly plenty of room, and he'll clear him. Boy, Jesse Dutilly starting to open up a nice lead over Anthony Sergi. Give him about a two-second advantage working in turn number three. So Jet Nolan now going to give some room to your leader. Jet will wash up high in turn number one. Dutilly trying to work around lap traffic. He'll clear Jet Nolan. So Jet Nolan, it goes down a lap to your leader. Now Anthony Sergi got some problems. He's got couple lap cars in ball in turn number one. Keith Rogan gets into the wall. So trouble for Anderson and Atwell. We're ready to go. 45 in, back underway. Boy, Anthony Sergi just works around Dutilly. Now, can he make it work to the outside? Here comes Nick Neary. So, Sergi, your fourth different leader. We'll take it away here in lap number 46. Boy, did he catch Dutilly. Trouble, turn number four. And State of Florida, very good short track racer. Devin McLeod, Nick Neary in row number two. Boy, talk about a couple of youngsters coming up through the racing scene. McLeod into 21, Neary into 20, uh, excuse me, into 17. 45 laps in, we're ready to go. Green is back up, we're underway. Again, Anthony Sergi, shot out of a cannon, and he does it again. Sergi gonna make it work on the restart. Here comes Nick Neary. Nick on the outside, gonna battle for second. He's got Dutilly on the inside. Dutilly side by side, Neary's gonna clear him. Here comes Nick Neary. Nick Neary now moves to second. So here he comes, and now they're going to bunch him up. So do Tilly now. Now here comes LJ Graham. It does not look like, oh, they're going to stack him up in turn number four. Do a GMC official pace truck here at Citrus County Speedway. 46 in, close it in on the halfway point. We're going back racing as they come down the front stretch. Nick Neary, little drag race coming into turn number one. Neary up high, slight advantage off of turn number two. Neary, Sergi, drag race into turn number three. Anthony on the low side. Boy, it looks like Dutilly's starting to kick it back up as he's got LJ Graham on the outside. So Nick Neary will clear Anthony Sergi. He'll jump to the top. Time earlier, we got trouble in turn number one. At the pace, Nick Neary ready to go. Green is out, we're back underway. Anthony Sergi liking the outside as he goes to work on Neri. Not gonna be as easy for Sergi with Neri on the inside as they work in turn number four. LJ Graham staying right there with the field. They'll head into turn number one. Neri still door to door off of turn number two. Now Sergi gets a good run in the entry to turn number three. Boy, Nick very good as he works off of turn four. So Sergi. Still trying to get around Nick Neary. He's up high. He's trying to get some bite to the outside. Neary going to watch him, and he'll clear him. As Sergi still hanging on. Nick Neary doesn't want to have any problems. We'll go to the halfway point. A brand new leader. Trouble turn number four. So problem in turn number four. And we'll see how they'll go back as we just got to the halfway point with Neary coughing up the lead to the outside. 
Jesse Henley in row number five. Jesse, a pretty good run going for the three. 49 laps complete. We're going racing. Anthony Sergi on the low side. Now we'll see if Nick Neary can do what Anthony's been doing, getting a good run on the outside. Sergi going to lead him into turns three and four. Neary, a little bit of advantage off turn four. We'll get to the halfway point with Nick Neary, your leader. Neary, your leader. Here comes Wayne Anderson. Wayne going right to the outside. Right at the halfway point. Here he comes. Wayne Anderson, the veteran to the outside. So Wayne Anderson going to go to work on that second place car of Anthony Sergi. Oh, Anthony, nice little exit off of turn number two. Again, Wayne, a very crafty short track racer. Been doing it a long time. He'll go to work on Anthony Sergi. So they're back to single file racing. As Neary going to lead him into turns three and four. Neary with about a two car length advantage over Anderson. So Wayne on the low side as he works on Anthony Sergi. Anthony kind of running more of the middle of the track as Wayne running on that low side. Here comes Dutilly. So Jesse starting to kick it up a notch at that 30. He's running fourth. What a run going for LJ Graham. He's running in the top five. Right now, LJ running fifth. Sixth will be Brezdehan. So your leader's now working in turn number four, led by Nick Neary. Boy, Jesse Dutilly going to put up a battle now with Anderson, and he gets around Wayne Anderson. Wayne will go back a spot to fourth. So Wayne Anderson back to fourth again, Dutilly. Again, me and John were talking about, looked like he may have had a problem earlier, but whatever that issue is, Dutilly right back in contention. As he's running in the third spot, fourth will be Anderson, fifth will be L.J. Graham. And Bresnahan having a good run right now, running in the sixth spot. Keen in there seventh. You got McLeod running eighth as they'll work in a turn number two. So Nick Neary settling in a pretty good groove right now, just over the halfway point. He's got about a two and a half car length advantage over Anthony Sergi as they'll work in a turn number one. Dutilly running third in behind him. It's Anderson now, Dutilly. Starting to get a little antsy now as he closes in on that second place driver of Anthony Sergi. He's all over the bumper of Sergi off of turn four. Nice little run going for Nick Neary. Still holds on to about a two car length advantage down the back stretch for Neary. Sergi running second, Dutilly running third. Boy, Dutilly, not a guy he goes with. Would not be shy of a bump and run. Dutilly knows how to get the job done and he's working on the bumper of Sergi off of turn number two. Anthony holding on to that second spot. Anderson running fourth. LJ running fifth as he'll cross the line. So a good battle there. Now Sergi trying to get a run on Nick Neary, but he's got a whole bumper full of Dutilly on his back end. Trouble turn number two. Caution. 61. So lap 61 in the books. Side. Sergi on the outside, Brent Fultz gonna look him over. We are going green. Again, Anthony Sergi's been very good on that outside groove. He has found a pretty good run away around it. Now he's on the outside, gonna go inside his Neary. Row number two, it's Dutilly on the low side. Anderson outside as they come down the front stretch. And a nice run going, running fifth. Is the 33 of LJ Graham, and he's got the seven. Oh, to pile him up. That'll be Daniel Keene involved in that one. Jesse Henley in the number three. Trouble there in turn number two. Jack, you don't want to see these cautions come out because you see these drivers up front. You want to let them race, get some laps in the books. Exactly, yes, yes, indeed. Um, it was something. are ready to go back racing. Brent Foltz going to look him over. We're back racing. Anthony Sergi will see if he can get off to that restart like he's been all night long. Oh, Dutilly. Neri going to wash up. Here comes Wayne Anderson. The door open. Wayne Anderson in the right place at the right time. Anderson. He's got a door-to-door -door battle with Anthony Sergi. Sergi up high. Anderson down low off of turn number two. Here comes Nick Neri. He's going to fight back. So near a little bump there, but gonna fight himself right back into the top three. Nick's gonna get on the bumper now. Wayne Anderson in turn number two. So Neary back to third. How about Bresnahan running fourth? Local driver Mike Bresnahan. Dutilly gonna shuffle back, I believe, till fifth, as he'll drop back one more spot as McLeod will clear off. 
So Jesse Dutilli in the sixth spot, earlier race leader. So up front, it's Anthony Sergi, Wayne Anderson running second. Third, it'll be Nick Neri. Fourth, it'll be Devin McLeod. Devin may not stay there as Bresnan gonna challenge him to the outside. Nice little battle there for fourth as McLeod will take that spot away. So again, now Bresnan gonna be challenged with Jesse Dutilli. Trouble turn at number four. And caution, Jesse Henley in the number three goes around. Back racing. Yeah, nice little restart there. Oh, a little rub in there. They'll swap a little paint off of turn number two. Anderson, little bit of advantage. Wayne on the outside. Sergi to the inside. They'll come to the line. Wayne Anderson, your leader. He gets it away from Anthony Sergi. Now here comes Nick Neary. Neary going to go to work on that second place driver of Anthony Sergi in turn number three. Here comes Nick Neary now. Goes right back to work on the inside. Wayne Anderson, your leader. Right behind him, good little door-to-door -door battle. Anthony Sergi up high, Nick Neary to the low side. Neary picking up qualifying quick time earlier tonight, as he'll do battle on the low side. Devin McLeod's right there in the top five. Dutilli now running fifth, McLeod running fourth. So we'll see if Nick Neary can get around to the inside of Sergi. And right running that center of the track is Wayne Anderson. Boy, Wayne doing what he does all the time. Wait till about halfway through it, and then he jumps up front. Exactly what's going on with Wayne Anderson. Now, Sergi trying to get around. Nick Neary, and he'll clear him in turn number one. So, Anthony Sergi up to second. Now, he's going to work on Wayne Anderson. Couple very good short track racers. A longtime veteran and the youngster. Sergi in the number 20. They'll come down the front stretch, single file, led by Wayne Anderson. Sergi running second, Neri running third, running fourth is McLeod, fifth it'll be Dutilli. Now Dutilli gonna pull up to the outside of Devin McLeod as they work off turn number four. Devin on the low side, Dutilli battling for that fourth spot and Dutilli will get around Devin McLeod for fourth. Gotta believe Dutilli knows it's time to get to the front. He's gonna work on him now as they come down the front stretch. It is go time now as Dutilli works something in behind Nick Neri. Neary running third, Sergi second, your leader is Anderson. They'll exit off a of turn number four, pretty well, single file. And Wayne Anderson, very good short track racer. Wayne working down the back stretch, started in the ninth position, qualified ninth. And right now he'll lead Sergi off a of turn at number four. Nick Neary, solid run going for the 22 year old driver Neary. Now he's looking to the inside of Sergi off a of turn at number four. They'll work off a of turn four. Now Neary pulls up to the side of Sergi for second as they'll work in turn number one. In the inside, it's Neary to the outside. It's Anthony Sergi as they're door to door coming into turn number three. Neary on the low side as he's trying to get around the 20 of Anthony Sergi. And I'm going to tell you, Anthony Sergi has found the spot on the outside. He's been very good on the outside. So Sergi strong to the outside. He's liking the outside as he'll head down into turn number one. Again, Nick Neary holding on to that second spot as he's battling with Anthony Sergi as they head into turn number three. Dutilli waiting to pounce on him as he stays in behind Neary. Good four car battle into turn number one. 20 to go. 20 laps to go for your leader, Wayne Anderson. This time by is Anderson. I'll head into turn number one. Watching Nick Neary lap after lap on the low side with Anthony Sergi up high. Anthony doing battle with Nick Neary as I'll head into turn number one. So Neary able to get around. Sergi off of turn number two. Now he's gonna go to work on your leader. Wayne Anderson off of turn number four. Uh, Nick Neary setting fast time in qualifying. Started eighth right now. He's running in that second spot behind Wayne Anderson. Yeah, how about that? They got the longtime veteran Wayne Anderson. 22-year-old driver Nick Neary running second. Zale Lex it off a of turn number two. Here comes Jesse Dutilli now going to battle for third. He'll go to the inside of Anthony Sergi in turn number four. Oh, Dutilli wobbles and gathers it up. Nice piece of drive for Jesse Dutilli. 
That'll cost them a little bit of time as Jesse drops back in that fourth place position. So Wayne Anderson showing the way. Sits there about a half a car length advantage over second place running Nick Neri. Neri holding on to that second position. Third is Anthony Sergi. Fourth it's Dutilli. What a run going for LJ Graham at that 33. He's in the Webster race car machine for the 33 of LJ Graham. And a great run going for Nick Neri. Picked up fast time earlier tonight. Nick in pursuit of the 84 Wayne Anderson. And solid run for Anderson, started in the ninth position. And right now, Wayne in a pretty good groove as they exit off a of turn number four. And Anthony Sergi, looks like he's starting to drop back slightly. Anthony's been up there competing. Gotta believe them tires may be going on the 20 of Anthony Sergi. He's been battling high and low. We got 10 laps to go this time by. 10 laps remaining for Wayne Anderson. So Anderson down the back stretch. He's got Neri about a car length behind him. Nick Neri running second. Third, it'll be Anthony Sergi. Fourth, it'll be Dutilli. Fifth, it'll be LJ Graham. So Anderson in a pretty good groove right now. Not sure if Neri's gonna bring him in as they work into turn number four. Pretty well, single files that come down the front stretch. Anderson off of turn number one. He's got a full car length advantage down turn number two. Give Wayne about two car lengths now as they head into turns three and four. Great run going for the veteran Wayne Anderson. Pretty well laid back for the top first 50 laps and then started to go to work and he's picked it up now as we're in the remaining few laps as Anderson in turn number four. He's got a car length advantage over Neri. And Anthony Sergi, earlier race leader, kind of fade back along with Dutilli. And I gotta believe tire management has been a big thing for Wayne Anderson. Knows how to get the job done. Five laps to go for Wayne Anderson. Neary realizing time running out. If Neary wants to grab it, he's gonna have to get going with four laps to go this time by. Off of turn number one, it's Wayne Anderson. He's got a full car length advantage over Neary. Sergi running third, Dutilli running fourth, fifth. It'll be LJ Graham. Three laps to go. Wayne Anderson, the veteran, into turn to number one. Mary running second. We'll see two to go this time by. They want you. So two to go. Wayne Anderson. Will work his way to white flag. Here he goes. So Anderson down the back stretch, looking to become ten thousand dollars richer. Wayne Anderson, your full throttle feature winner, is he'll head into turn number one. We'll go trackside for interviews. We'll turn it over to John as he goes trackside. 